Yep. Golden goat sandwich. I'll see you in a little bit. Both these. It's Sunday. I'm back. Yesterday ended up being a off day. I did not paint at all. My head hurt so bad yesterday. Definitely from painting, because I'm like this all day hunched over. So like my neck and my shoulders are just fucking cooked right now. I don't know if you know, painting is physically demanding. People don't understand it, but it shit sucks. Jaw hurts from clenching my teeth, all kinds of shit. So yesterday went to the movies, saw Good Boys. Funniest fucking movie I've seen in years. Hilarious. I mean, it's crude humor, but it's fucking funny. And exactly what I would like, yeah, per like perfect movie. Just, just to laugh at ridiculous shit. So great movie. Don't really have anything bad to say about it. Probably would go see it again. Went to Gaikaku with the dirtiest of urns last night. Clothing sale, shipping it's today and tomorrow. Urn's gonna be here a little bit, I'm sure. Wrap. Yeah, 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 what's up? Yeah, 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 what's up? here pretty late last night. It's Monday. Ern is shooting a wedding today with Brandy for our friend Max, actually. So congrats to Max and his lovely wife. Wedding. They're shooting a wedding today, and honestly, this has to get finished. I've been doing this all weekend. I've been fighting some pretty terrible headaches, which, you know, leaning over, painting, all that, blah, blah, blah. But I feel grateful that I get to do this. This is what I wanted, you know, my whole life, being able to just have time where I can sit and paint. So I ain't gonna complain about it now. from the shop. Teddy is still working on his painting. This place is like a fucking underground bunker. Teddy's been in here painting, underground bunker status. But um, the painting is looking good. And uh, yeah, we're inventorying the what's left of the last friends and family drop to put it back out before it goes public. Florida shirts have dropped for friends and family. If you're not friends and family, you'll have to that was friends and family only. I thought it was that or Florida. Florida. How can you say something? Friends and family. How can you say something is exclusive. Literally go buy it somewhere the, else. You said you the opportunity you to buy online That's not what you is said, exclusive. You tweeted out and said for friends and family only with a fucking big exclamation point. You also wrote there that I was going on vacation. I'm not going on. Well, I said vacation. work slash vacation. Where is the vacation? Aren't part? you going to Disney for two Don't days? Don't I have to vlog and edit this yes. together? Yes. Since when is going you, two days to Disney? With your girl a fucking vacation. You Bitch, got a vacation is yacht by my goddamn self in the middle of the ocean with no communication with anybody for like six weeks. That's a fucking vacation. I think it's a vacation. <laughs> You're gonna have fun at Galaxy's Edge. Well, there you go then. I don't know. I might just go by my goddamn I thought vacation gave it a nice ring. Yeah, I just don't see where the vacation part is. Disney World is a vac- Disney World, I think if you Google Disney World, the definition is It's a vacation, vacation. destination. Now, yeah. rock around and look at all the men's faces. They're not on vacation. Yeah, what I meant to say on Twitter was- Hold on. I gotta look up my tweet. Good morning, Twitter. Good morning, host, Teddy, friends and family. Check those emails, because we got a little something special for friends and family only. Meaning, the opportunity to buy this shirt online. Your special offer only for- leftover ones that we may drop online. Uh, friends and family, what you really got only was the early access online. That's it. Very hard. 
mission for wax. Yeah. It's so hard to find seven grams of wax in this city, especially as a medical patient. Weed situation, it's like a back yeah. hand block. The weed's the joker. The joker has all weed. He's put a tax on it. <laughs> Seriously. You know, all the people that need their medicine are dying. And the cut above, it's like the joker's layer. Every time you call, they're like, well, today we have one strain in. If you get here in the next 10 minutes, maybe left. If not, you're welcome to go to the medical side where we have 38 different strains. Oh yeah, the rec side. It just doesn't make sense. Next nice dollar. It's true. But now, I'm gonna do a little more Googling. Teddy has DM'd the people at Viola, or is it voila? How do you feel about them legalizing cocaine in Mexico? <laughs> All right, and that's that. We'll be back soon. <laughs> It's fucking open. Hello, thank you for calling Be Good West Wash Park. We're sorry we're unable to make it to the yeah, dog. So I'm just leaving both my sets of keys here. So cigarette city out here. The last Airbnb -er was a cigarette chain smoking machine who thinks it's okay to just throw them on the ground. Do we try standing akimbo? It's such a far ride to try. So far. We gotta get you like 18 gram jars. They didn't just get you a fucking a drip. Oh, favorites. Recent favorites, really, Teddy. Huh? Oh, look who it is. Who it is. No, look, it's hip hop kids. Oh, favorites of hip hop. Damn, I thought I caught you out there yeah, and slipping. Got, every day I see Drake's fucking face for no reason. I get in my car. It's intrusive, bro. It's terrorism. <laughs> this is like, I get in my car, I have to see this fucking idiot stupid face every day. And then people wonder why I don't like it. Well, maybe because I'm like a baby strapped to a fucking screen. I see his face every day, no matter what. I can do this, but then I come back into the car. His stupid ass face is back there. He no represents what. hip hop hits. Yeah. Where are we? Where is hip hop that this is what's represented? Might it. as well have a Care Bear. Some, ooh, just ignore him. How? Motherfucker, you go buy a book, he's a bookmark. You know, like, it's insane. Every time I cry, they fucking fall into the fucking letters D R A K E. It's a Drake life. Drake life. Ooh, Drake. Are you hungry? Not really. I hate to let you down. Oh, it's because you're on your stupid. No, it's not because it's on, on any of that. No, dude, that's just for dinner for Brand. She's tired of me. She wants to cook at home. And I don't care literally that I ate breakfast right before I got here. And then now I'm just full. Cool, you might have to watch me if I go to chow for the vlog. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, you can try and eat. <laughs> It's also Gayu Kaku, we're 45 points away. I don't care, I'll cut it either one. <laughs> one of them I don't have to cook. It's true. I can cook you a steak. We're at your house? Yep, I'll give you the dirty air. I can do that in my own house, it's not the same thing. Yeah, no, but at my house, like, I'll serve you, we'll put a little silverware. Who's <laughs> this? Colorado Harvest Company. Let's see. Calling Colorado Harvest Company on South Broadway. Michael speaking. Hey, Michael, I was just calling to see if you guys had seven gram viola jars on the med side. Our med side's been closing down since the beginning of 2019. Uh, we have no concentrate. Okay. Do you have them on the rec side? Not seven grams, just a single gram of viola. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem, buddy. Yeah, How do you buddy. legalize yeah. weed on the medical fucking, on the, you came in marching with the med flag. They're yeah. like, we're going to legalize this shit. It's medical. That's how they did it. All oh, medical, we need it. Look at all these sick people. I'm sick! <laughs> <laughs> Where? I thought it's my medicine at, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? This is we, we marched on this. We marched on the meds. And now it's like, oh look, it's just recreational, bro. We got one gram for these pussy ass motherfuckers out here. Serious. I don't know what to do, dude. Everything. Oh, we're going to eat. That's what we're going to do. You're gonna get a goddamn appetite, son. We're gonna watch the front there. Hey, Jesus. It'll tell me. In the okay. front? Yeah, with sensors all around this bitch. Oh. What are you talking about, son? What you think there's only sensors in the back? Oh no. 360 censored out here, son. Sensory appreciation. <laughs> Not that the opposite of deprivation. <laughs> Sensory appreciate so you <laughs> said so. Yeah. Oh. All right, so where I are we really going to eat? I mean, are you really not going to eat? I mean, the thing is, if we go to Gayukaku, I can eat a little bit less. If we go to Fogo, I feel like you pay that one price, then it's like, I feel like, fuck, sure. I better crush food. But Gayukaku, I can get two little plates and be like, and all right. And there's more likely to be weed. Buster to Gayukaku, actually. Yeah, should we roll a joint? Should I don't even smoke weed, dog. If I don't have weed. Well, I do at the crib, but... Your house is not even on the way. Well, yeah, I guess it is kind of... And we can if you want to. Maybe we can roll a quick joint, take it with us. All right, let's do it. You missed it all. Yeah. I auto-aborted the parking by opening the door. I didn't know. It seemed parked to me. This is a very precision vehicle. Oh, fuck. You don't have your fucking keys. <laughs> I'm retarded. Why do I do this? Uh, fuck. Fuck. Ah. Uh, forgot my keys. We were going to get weed. <laughs> Can't even get weed. <laughs> 
I don't know where the fuck. What? I was just thinking, I was like, I'll buy a pre roll somewhere, but. Wait, you're an addict. We'll just fucking go. Well, we eat addicts. Just trying to smoke some weed so you'll get an appetite. That is what I'm trying to do because I know I'm not that hungry. Off subject, you know, we're one of the only countries that actually keeps our eggs refrigerated. Like. Wait, what? Like, I was in the supermarket in Germany, dude. Eggs are just on a shelf. Well, because eggs don't need to be refrigerated. Yeah, no, I know, but in our country, we just seem to think they do. I mean, that's just naturally where you find them. And I think once they're refrigerated, though, then they have to stay cold. Yeah. Yeah, because my friend had a farm, and they used to give us eggs, and we just keep them on the shelf. Huh. That, where did that come from? I don't know what made me. Oh, this kid was walking by with eggs in his hand. Oh, my God. Whew. Let's go. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Go. I'm still fucking painting. I am taking a slight break to come home and take a dab. And uh, yeah, pretty much take a dab. It's been uh, a really crazy weekend. The week, uh, weekend, yeah. It's been a crazy weekend. Really, really busy for me. Just trying to get this like enormous, enormous painting done, which is very technical and time consuming. Technical and time consuming. A couple of things here. Uh, it's been a crazy week. I don't feel like I've had normal conversations. The vlog has definitely suffered from just being crazy busy as far as like dialogue goes. I haven't had to talk, I haven't talked about shit. A uh, few things going on. First, what I am going on this last week, we temp tech, the terpometer versus the temp tech. Now, I've had like a week to use both and I like them both, but I think I prefer honestly the temp tech. Only because it's a standalone unit and all I have to do is kind of slide over the, I like the torch, I just slide it over top, it hovers. Once I know my degrees, it's good to go. It's not the direct readout temperature, but you know your number. It's like your sleep number, but your smoke number. I like the temp tech better, but the only real reason is I don't like doing this whole back and forth shit. I don't really like the back and forth. I hate this attachment. It's just not a scoop. So if I had a scoop, I'd probably like this one more. Both are fine. This both hold a charge forever. Both are really good and both, I I think are kind of necessary in the sense of I'm really bad at timing my dabs so if I can have a, re a temperature readout it's much better but both work great both are great around the same price pick your poison um what else is going on the rainforest is burning it's not burning for any reason that people really think it's highly highly political Brazil is a third world Latin country and most Americans don't really ever even think about it until they hear the third of their oxygen even though America has deforested deforestized, deforestation, gotten rid and destroyed just about damn near everything. People who are from America were literally asking or calling for the president to be impeached. Um, we're not gonna get a political discussion, but it's highly political. Brazil is the third world country in Latin America. If you really want to get down to it, they were stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's a lot of shit going on. But uh, imagine if America produced a third of the oxygen for the world. They would take it captive. And another argument is Brazil does not get any money for this third of the oxygen that we breathe. So anyway, about Brazil, do a lot of research. Stop pointing fingers at each other. Vegans, stop blaming meat eaters. A lot of soy that comes from there and only 1% of beef comes to the United States from Brazil. There are ways around it. There are ways to eat consciously meat, non-meat eaters, but this whole like fire war thing on the internet over damn near everything is ridiculous and crazy. The shoe sale happened. All the shoes are gone that I have left. I'll show you the collection. Clothes are gone. I sold a bunch of shit. I made a bunch of money. So I will be reinvesting that money into my business and going to Japan and having fun and living life. I got an Apple card today. Also got a United credit card and an SBG credit card. No, I'm not wiling. I just uh, finally fixed my fucking credit to the point where I had really shitty credit like when the vlog started like really shitty now I'm in like the 750s I got these credit cards for the points the business get the points get the flights which has been my master plan this whole time when I was flying I get so mad flying I'm not earning the points that I could be getting so now I'm just technically playing this stupid ass real life game with credit card companies and points and business shit that's happened Apple card is one of those cards Whew! what else we got shoes fuck Nothing. All right. I'm. Ex I think. In <laughs> I think Adidas is sending me the Solar Hue Trail. Said I wasn't gonna get it, but if they they send it, I'm taking it. The Solar Glide Hue and the purple, yellow, red. Can't remember the fourth colorway. All fire. I don't know. I might get all of them shits because they're just fucking hot fire. I don't need all these shoes. They're fire. They're probably gonna be cheap. 
and they're definitely not gonna resell for shit. So I'm excited about that. Nothing else really coming. The Easy B3, don't care about this colorway. Nothing, nothing. B-Ball, don't really care. Nike still releasing every candy cane striped color Jordan you think of. So business as usual over at Nike for the past three years. They did turn a swoosh around, I do remember that. Uh, I've been thinking about what I've been trying. So we tried that Nike shoe last week. I'm trying to find a fucking New Balance to try, but between the 997s and the 990s, damn dude, like, they're all ugly. Like, most of them are just ugly. And I know that I'm not gonna hit the same comfort level. Like, I'm aware the cockiness from Adidas comes from the fact that they have the boost in their favor, and no one else has, like, come close to it yet, I don't really think. Nike React is a big one that comes up, but guys, they're so ugly. Like, the Connect, the Lego Connect things on the side. And it's got a trash bag, a plastic bag, Renko upper, which I don't really, like, we're setting ourselves up for failure. You know what I mean? Think about trying out some Asics. They look hella thin, but all the colorways look like shit to me. It's really just, it's hard. It's hard to pick stuff. I will be copping on StockX something this week by the end of the I feel like I'm copping shit and I'm just gonna put it on once and be like, ah, nope, and then sell it. So it's kind of this game. I don't really expect to find anything better. I guess I'm just humoring myself and you guys. I don't know. That's that's one thing going on. Boom, boom, boom. I talked about going to the movies. I'm really looking forward to that one movie. God, what's the name of it? Where they rob the bank or where they shoot the cop. Like, really looks like. Trailer looks amazing. Um, we got a lot going on at the Airbnb. People who just stayed in the Airbnb last night were checked out today. Check out is at one. And then they checked out, I guess, I thought. And then at like four o'clock, they came back to pack all their stuff. So they just left all their stuff there. They were, uh, from India. So I don't know if there's like a language. They didn't speak very much English from, or at least English was definitely not their first language. I let it slide, but the cigarettes were kind of annoying. A lot going on there. We're picking up King Rat tomorrow. He's getting tattooed for his, he's getting a new wave dragon. That should be interesting. I could go draw that tonight and finish the painting. That's going on. Um, just got off the phone with JC. I love JC. He gives me good advice that I don't take sometimes, but I love him. Uh, <laughs> and then yeah, I think that's it, man. It's like tattoos this week, Florida. What else? In the oh, Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A. Filet. Let me tell you a story. First off, you people are ridiculous. Uh, we're in the Pepsi Challenge 2.0. I don't know how people get tricked into the sensationalism of food reviews, but here we are. It's a crazy world. Oh, Ninja and Adidas. I almost skipped over the whole topic in hand. Can't believe it. Anyway, crazy world. Here's two things. I said people are going to resell chicken sandwiches. Fast forward, people resell chicken sandwiches. Someone made a tweet with a picture of these two dudes holding the bags of chicken sandwiches. I took a screenshot, posted the tweet on Instagram, and oh my God, the guys, the guys from the photo have gone off the deep end. Apparently, I'm clout chasing them, but they're selling chicken sandwiches. Or not selling, or whatever. It was ridiculous. They made video responses, all kinds of shit. Anyway, I could give a fuck about what you think about what's chicken sandwich. Here's the true story. Not too many people make a bad fried chicken sandwich. It's fucking fried chicken breast on bread. You gotta really not know what you're doing to make a, especially as a fast food chain who has like scientists that figure out how food is supposed to taste to make a bad fried chicken sandwich. Y'all are silly. I understand somewhat the hype beastness of it. I mean, people are not talking to family members now because of chicken sandwiches. It is ridiculous. I have heard from Jay in prison. I talked to him the other day. Oh, you heard that on the vlog. Never mind. Talked. He's doing well. Gonna try and go see him December, January, hopefully. Damn near in Canada. I'm trying to hit y'all with the serious update. I feel like I'm skipping. Oh, Ninja, Adidas, blam, bombshell. Oh. I really, all right, here's the thing. No matter what I say, somebody out there is gonna just say, Teddy's a fucking hater, Teddy wishes he was this, Teddy. That's not the case. Congratulations to Ninja. I think that anyone doing anything, if approached if approached by a brand, is probably gonna think 50 times over the opportunity. And anyone who has half a brain is probably gonna take the deal. You know, like, it's just, it makes sense for Ninja. So if they, appro if, if they approach Ninja and say, I don't know, Makes sense, bro. Like you're letting Goliath Goliath is Goliath needs you. I'm not mad at Ninja. Do I I don't give a fuck about Fortnite. I don't know Ninja. I don't really like watching people play other games personally. Uh he's really fucking good at it, but not my favorite, you know? Sorry. Sorry, Ninja, if you're watching this, nothing personal, you're not my favorite streamer. Obviously Adidas is using Ninja. <laughs> Just like Adidas uses Everybody. Not just Adidas, but big corporations. Anyone with a name can get can get on. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have a big name and you have some juice and you have a customer base, I mean you're essentially an influencer. That's the model for the big corporations is to use anybody. They're losing people like me and I 
I guess some of you guys out there, where there's no story in it. Nothing makes any fucking sense. They came up with this whole like, dedicated to your life, put in the hours and the work. Yeah, I get I get all that. That's, that's great. We're all doing that on our craft, you know? Like, perfect your craft. Okay, perfect. The fuck does that have to do with shoes? What the fuck does that have to do with a, it's an Adidas Originals ad and my man's got the performance logo on the chest. Pretty sure the arm says ninja. I don't know. It's weird. It's just weird. It's a weird thing in a sense, but then it's not a weird thing in a sense because gamers wear fucking jerseys and it's a lot like soccer in that sense. Does it make sense? No. Does it make dollars? Yes. Do I like it? No. Does it fucking matter? Absolutely not. That's pretty much it. I think it's weird. It has no context. It doesn't help explain anything. If it were me, I would be focusing more on the builders of the shoes, the makers of the shoes, and not celebrity endorsements that don't help tell Adidas's story. Ninja, as much as he's a great video game player, there's no space yet for that. And maybe they're creating that space, and that's great. But I don't even wear shoes when I play video games, dog. Like, I kick my shoes off when I play games, so it's just... Um, I'm just kidding. Influencing is just weird, bro. Like, getting checks and influencing and it's all, it's all a weird space that I don't really understand. On any side, really. So, yeah. Um, but I'm not jealous either. Like, I know so, I, actually I am jealous. If Adidas came to me and was, hey, we want to give you access to everything and you can make whatever you want, I would fucking take that too. I'd make them fucking be nice to me, but I would take that. I'd take that from fucking Nike. God damn it, I'd take that shit from Under Armour. You know, as long as I can take the logos off of everything, it's all good. Whew! All right, that's how I feel. No shoes, no nothing, no nada. Going to Florida, Japan after that. Got one in Japan. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Cast tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.